Oh yeah, this is an interesting news. This is courtesy of BBC News. It says Bootown Festival cancelled amid COVID insurance row. So there's been a lot of talk about this. I think mostly from the secret DJ on Twitter. Definitely go and follow him. He's got two books out, book one and two. Great little um books in terms of understanding what it is to be a professional DJ and all the things that go on around dance music and all that malarkey. Really, really good um, novel. I recommend you check him out. Um again, book one and two, find them on all your, you know, book publishing platforms or whatnot. The Pacific Amazon, but you know, wherever else you pay for these things. So he's been mentioning a lot about the the risk that's involved with event organizers and festival organizers and promoters putting on big scale events this summer. Um, and this comes off the back of obviously restrictions being eased here in the UK and things going back to some level of normality. You kind of got the feeling that things were going to be okay, right? Going forward. But he's been always sounding the alarm of like, Hey, these big scale events aren't going to go forward because these insurance companies will not want to be liable, especially considering how close we are from, you know, the, the, there's not much of a gap between people getting vaccinated and where we were, you know, a few few months ago. They just they were just want to take that risk, and I guess Boontown's a good example of it because obviously it's a big scale of a festival, but it's not the biggest, right? And it's not super small. It's kind of like in the middle. So for Boontown to decide to cancel, um, knowing that they've still got quite ahead, quite a bit of lead time in terms of it going on, because I'm not sure if I'm not mistaken, it kind of happens around August, is very very concerning for everybody involved in dance music. So it's let's continue with the article it says boontown festival will not go ahead after organizers said the lack of government funding uh, sorry government backed insurance scheme left them startling staring at our 10 million gamble um the sixty six thousand capacity event sold out in february and was due to take place in the uh, at the maternity estate near winchester from the 11th to the 15th of august okay maybe i'm mistaken there's not mid-size sixty six thousand is a lot of people it continues Organizers said, why do I always feel like it's really small? I guess as a credit to the organizers, right? They, they make a really big festival, but they make it feel small because I always felt it was smaller than that. Against, organizers said that they needed government help to ensure against a late cancellation out of the, their control. The event is hoping to return to 2022 2022 between the 10th and the 14th of august mps also joined calls to protect festival against the potentially huge covid losses but the government said it has already provided help through the culture recovery fund um continued here it's just abuse of the in a statement boot time organizer says we've been doing everything within our power to try and find a solution to the mind-boggling conundrum of putting on a safe event, a safe world brand event for the sheer scale and capacity and intricate nature of Boontan this summer. With less than four months to go until the event, and after almost half a year of collective campaigning to the government, sadly specific cancellation and insurance for events simply does not exist at this point in time. Wild, isn't it? So COVID Pacific cancellation insurance does not exist at this time. So essentially everyone putting on events at the moment now is taking a calculated monetary gamble in terms of putting it on. So that definitely needs to be said, isn't it? Quite loudly. So everyone that's putting on an event now is really risking, you know, their own, you know, homes or whatever it may be to put these on because they're not being they're not going to you're not giving any sort of safety net if it does get cancelled for you know whatever unknown reasons that may exist it continues this means anyone putting on an event this year will be doing so without the safety net and the insurance to cover them um should covid prevent them from going ahead uh in any capacity for an independent event uh large complex at boomtown this means that a huge gamble into a eight figure sum to lose if we were to venture um venture much forward further forward and then not be able to go ahead uh, due to covid tickets for a 2020 event can be transferred for next year or be refunded the five-day arts event and theatricals also cancelled 2020 because of covid though the 2021 event it was a secret recent event seeing the likes of lauren hill and the streets take stage jesus christos mad in it so again man concerning news going forward i think it, this is another kind of sobering um situation concerning covid in terms of hey things are going well here and we're kind of going back to some level of normality but the reality is really things won't return back to some semblance of normality for a while and it will mean a lot of places a lot of people will kind of essentially be our business forever so it really does need to be stressed if you have got yourself a ticket for an event and you're planning to go to somewhere that's been able to put something on either if it's a club a bar a festival uh, a gig whatever it may be 
really be on your best behavior and try your best to i don't know honor the space that you're in you know buy some merch spend as much as you can at the bar because there really is no guarantee that these events are going to go forward especially considering with you know how crazy this virus is and things may change in the future and also the organizers are taking a real massive gamble putting on these events on they're really going out of their way of course there's a lot of rewarding it too and you know we're not making it seem as if these guys are the red cross they obviously know like you know most of the events especially in london have completely sold out in minutes um doesn't matter what they are cabaret dj stuff like they've all been going selling like hotcakes so i'm sure the only potential is really really high but the risk involved too is super high especially when you consider how long people have been there without income right to go you know straight from lockdown and not having any ability to make any money and then going back into this volatile environment where you might have loads of money coming in but then not a lot from a third fourth wave another mutation of the virus that gives all these uncertainties that exist so they're really taking a real calculated risk and a lot of these people have probably you know not received apart from the funding that they got from the recovery fund they're not received any if any other monetary help so it's a lot of just wishing and praying that things go forward without a hitch and hopefully they do of course, Boontown will return back in 2022, you know, bigger than ever, badder than ever, so they'll be perfectly fine. But for sure, it's definitely a concerning and something to definitely keep an eye on if you are going to events, you know, don't don't take the piss. Try and be on your best behavior and just kind of, you know, be thankful that these things are on because there is no guarantee that they are going to be on, even with the vaccine, right? It's definitely been proved that this whole virus has disturbed, I wouldn't even say, what is it? It's not even the... It's not even forget the attitudes of people going to these places, right? Because for sure, um, there's a lot of people who have just kind of been put off completely from going to large scale events with loads of people. But it's also just the infrastructure around it, right? The supply chain, the people that you know, su I don't know, whatever that supply the flipping chairs and some of the toiletries and stuff. It's just loads of stuff that goes into putting on events that you don't even think about. They've been completely fucked up. Like I remember reading an article about there being a real lack of um, security guards, right? That are available to kind of start and kind of be able to look after some of these spaces and provide security and whatever it may be. They're not around because of course, you know, most of these people have been unemployed for the majority of lockdown, maybe pivoted to other careers, haven't renewed their membership or their licenses, whatever's going on. There's loads of things have been affected that people are not really aware of and all it takes is one mutation one new strain and and you know panic at the disco sets in and figures get locked down again and then we're back to square one and you know all these people's you know ability to make an income is completely scuppered and i don't think <coughs> i think a lot more a lot of think a lot of people would basically say they can't take another lockdown for sure if one more happens and it kind of causes them to be you know um sit on the sideline for a prolonged period more than four months it'll be probably the death of them or the end of them let's not say the death let's just take that back not the death but the end of them in terms of putting on events going forward so definitely if you're going to one you know treat it well uh be respectful of your space and people around you your surroundings and just really enjoy yourself as best you can because there's no guarantee these events are going to go forward um considering how volatile things are and until things settle down big events like boom time just won't be able to be they won't be viable which makes me think of all the other things that are happening what was the thing about in the forest that ricardo Villalobos played played there's a few other things happening in the uk too maybe so maybe that means if you're like a that's probably why Junction 2 didn't happen this year too because that's I guess of a similar sort of scale to Boomtown maybe not as big it may be in the 40 30,000 but still a lot of people attending one space so those kind of events you just can't risk it but if you're throwing something I guess in like equivalent of a park it might be a little bit easier to do but again still a risk going forward still a risk so yeah big up Boomtown organizers hopefully they're able to put on that event in 2022